against literally every single odd in the book. Dora has managed to re-strengthen towards category 4 intensity, and then some. Right now, it's currently located at 13.2 degrees north, 136.0 degrees east. Just look at that visible appearance right now, indicating a very strong storm, and it is one. It's got winds, get this, of 150 miles an hour and a pressure of 938 millibars. Right now, the storm is moving west at 18 miles per hour, and that movement speed is going to go up a little bit over the next 12 to 24 hours. This storm is still intensifying right now. Right now, the storm is located very far away from any land masses, still with a very small wind field, still at maximum width of my update a few days ago. It was 40 nautical miles. It still is, albeit it has increased a little bit on the southern side of the storm. Still very round, though. Right now, the storm is located 1340 miles away from Hilo, 1450 from Kahului, 1550 from Honolulu, 1840, and moving away from Cabo San Lucas, and also moving away from Mazatlan, 2060 miles away from there right now. There are no watches and warnings in effect for the next, or there are no watches or warnings currently in effect, and there are hinted to be none for the next five days. Thankfully, this storm is headed to pass just south of Hawaii, or well to the south of Hawaii, I should say, and there might be some rough surf issues on eastern facing shorelines for the National Weather Service in Honolulu. So this is what the intensity estimates are saying right now. They're a little bit behind, uh, uh, unfortunately, due to Dora's small size. Uh, but either way, National Hurricane Center, at their most recent update, they're due to update in about an hour or so. They had winds of 130 miles per hour, ATCF at 145. The National Hurricane Center's latest forecast cone or keeps it keeps Dora as a hurricane through the next five days. Although, look at that, there is some chance that Dora could survive uh, past the Central Pacific, and yes, into the Western Pacific, past day five. We'll have to wait and see on that, but it is growing more and more likely that this will be the next tri based crosser in the Eastern Pacific over to the worst of Western Pacific. Last one to do it was Hector in 2018, and it appears that Dora will be the next one in the in the, in the ne next chapter of that theater show. Not the first time that the name of Dora would do that, though. Did it in 1999. Sea surface temperatures right now underneath the storm are 26 to 27 degrees Celsius. It is riding that, that fine line between warm sea surface temperatures to its south and cold sea surface temperatures to its north. And thankfully, it is forecast to remain over relatively to the same temperature as what it is now, right now. HWRF is a little bit lagging behind, as we said, let's be honest. Uh, rainfall threat not going to be much of an issue over the next five days, so that's some good news. But let's be honest, most of the models are going to be behind on this right now, considering its recent intensification phase. As you can see, yeah, hopelessly behind on the intensification phase of this storm right now. But you can see there is a general uptick over the next 12 to 24 hours, so maybe. This storm could get to Category 5 status. We'll have to wait and see on that. Wind shear is decreasing a little bit, though. Uh, season for temperatures, as I said earlier, are forecast to be about the same for the next five days. They go up a little bit as you get towards the Western Pacific, so maybe some intensification will be on the way there. We'll have to wait and see on that, though. Uh, relative humidity, though, is it uh, to decrease, and I imagine that will be probably the demise of Dora as we get towards Day 3 and onwards. We'll have to wait and see on that. That's just a very uncertain situation. Look at the storm's visible appearance right now. Absolutely phenomenal. It's got cold cloud top surrounded by a very warm eye pushing 20 degrees celsius believe it or not so that eye is incredibly warm right now and this storm is still intensifying right now with the sun setting which will i imagine will allow for some room for some additional intensification trade we'll have to wait and see if this storm does not get up towards carry 5 status but it would not surprise me if over the next 12 to 24 hours that before that wind shear really does go back up that we see the storm gain maybe another 5 to 10 miles per hour in its intensity so it might get close to Category 5 status, we'll have to wait and see on that though. Thankfully this storm is not a threat to land over the next 5 days. Thankfully remaining far away from land, just doing nothing but harming, or wandering out in the Eastern Pacific Ocean, Dora the Explorer style, over here in the Eastern Pacific Basin. Next up, perhaps the Central Pacific.